This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. The next topic is reactions in a solution. Okay, reactions in solutions. A majority of reactions in the laboratories are carried out in solutions. Okay, reactions are carried. They are uh, what the reactions are carried out in a solution. Therefore, it is important to understand has. how the amount of substance is expressed when it is present in the form of solution okay the concentration of a solution of the amount of substance present in its given volume can be expressed in many of the following ways so in that the first one is mass percentage okay the next later on i will explain you that is about mole fraction okay the third one next uh, molarity and the fourth one is molality so this is about the uh, whatever uh, happens concentration of a solution or the amount of substance present in its given volume which can be expressed in many of the following ways that is in mass percent mole fraction molarity and molality okay first consider the mass percent the first concept first concept here is mass percent so it is obtained by using the following reaction so mass percent is equal to mass of a solute into 100 divided by mass of a solution okay this is the formula just remember this formula so mass of a solute into 100 so consider the example for this by applying the formula you can easily solve this problem okay a solution is prepared by adding 2 gram of a substance a 18 gra 2 gram of a substance a okay in a 18 gram of water to a 18 gram of water calculate the mass percent you know the mass percent of solute is equal to means it is nothing but mass percentage of a okay so that mass of a divided by mass of solution into 100 so you know mass of a is they have given 2 gram mass of a solution is you just you should have add the 2 gram of a plus 18 gram of water so you will get 2 by 20 so in 200 so here the answer is 10% this is the answer means a solution is prepared by adding 2 gram of a substance a to 18 gram of water calculate the mass percent of the solute so this is solute uh, mass percentage of the a mass of a divided by mass solution into 100 2 gram divided by 2 gram of a and 18 gram of water you are obtaining 10% so this is the problem and the next topic is mole fraction okay the mole fraction means it is the ratio of moles of a component divided by number of total moles of component in a solution okay so this is about mole fraction so in this mole fraction okay so it is the ratio of number of moles of particular component to the total number of moles of the solution so consider uh, here if a substance a dissolves in substance b and their number of moles are na and nb respectively then the mole fraction of a and b are given by so mole fraction of a should know mole fraction of a should be written as number of moles of a divided number of moles of a divided by number of moles of solution so that number of na divided by number of solution na plus nb so like that if you are writing for mole fraction for b like so that number of moles of b is nb divided by number of solution is na plus nb so this is about the mole fraction 
I was explaining you about reactions, okay? Chemical uh, reactions in a solutions. In that, I have explained mass percentage and the mole fraction is over, and the third point is molarity, okay? If the ratio of number of moles, the molarity means it is the most widely used unit, okay? Molarity, which is most widely used unit, which is used widely unit. So, and it is denoted by, which is, denoted by m okay so it is defined as the number of moles of the solute in one liter of the solution so what is this it is defined as the number of moles of solute in one liter solution okay so number of moles of solute in a one liter solution next uh, this is about the molarity okay so the consider the problem find the molarity of aqueous solution in which 4 gram of NaOH is dissolved in 250 uh, liter of aqueous solution okay for this uh, the formula consider that weight of the solute in a gram divided by molecular mass into volume of a solution in a liter so here weight of a solute formula you write the formula for this weight of a solute divided by molecule molecular mass and volume of solution in a liter correct this is molecular mass into volume of a solution in a liter okay volume of a solution in a liter so weight of a solute means what here weight of the solute means NaOH they have given 4 gram so molecular mass of the NaOH is 40 gram into solution is you just a liter is there so just 250 it is a given 250 milliliter okay so 4 gram this is 250 milliliter means you just convert it into liter 0 0.250 liter so you are just calculating that you are getting 0 0.4 m that is mole 0.4 mole per liter that is 0.4 mole per liter which is equal to 0.4 mole so this is means find the molarity formula weight of a solute divided by molecular mass into volume of a solution in a liter as i shown in this formula i just written here for understanding purpose so this is 4 gram weight of a solute 40 grams to 1250 so they have given 250 milliliter of a aqueous solution so that you are getting 0.4 mole okay and the next topic is molality so what do you mean by molality it is defined as the number of moles of solute present in 1 kg of solvent okay molality means the number of moles of solute the number of moles of solute okay number of moles of solute present in in 1 kg of number of moles of solute present in 1 kg of solvent so this is called molality formula for molality weight of solute in a gram divided by molecular mass into weight of solvent in a kilogram okay as this is the next consider the problem 3 mole of solution of NaCl is 1.25 gram per mole calculate the molality of the solution so in this how you are writing according to this formula weight of a solute in a gram means so they have given 1.25 gram correct what they are giving allocated like so m is equal to they have given 3 
थ्री मोल पर लीटर ओके सो मास ऑफ एन एस सी एल सी एल इन वन लीटर ऑफ सोल्यूशन इज इक्वल टू थ्री इंटू फिफ्टी एट पॉइंट फाइव विच गिवस वन सेवेंटी फाइव पॉइंट फाइव ग्राम ओके सो ही आर मास ऑफ वन लीटर सोल्यूशन मास ऑफ वन लीटर सोल्यूशन इज इक्वल टू थाउजेंड इंटू वन पॉइंट टू फाइव सो विच गिवस थाउजेंड टू फाइव जीरो ग्राम ओके so since density you know the density is equal to mass by volume correct so you know the mass by volume mass of then uh, 1250 minus 170.5 so you are getting 1074.5 gram so this is the mass of water in solution how much water is present mass of water in solution so this is the mass of water in a solution so the molality is given by can be can write this formula also that is number of moles of solute okay so divided by mass of solvent in kg mass of solvent in kg so this is 3 mole divided by you know the kg 1.074 kg so which gives 2.79 mole okay so this is the answer often in a chemistry laboratory a solution of a desired concentration is prepared by diluting a solution of a known higher concentration okay the solution of higher concentration is also known as stock solution note that molality of a solution does not change with the temperature since mass remains unaffected with temperature so which is unaffected by temperature okay this is not change with the temperature not changes with the temperature so this is about the molality okay so i have explained you about molarity okay now just i explained you about molarity molarity means what number of moles of solute in 1 liter of solution this is the problem for molarity how to calculate this is the molality the number of moles of solute present in 1 kg of solvent so just this is the one example for this and uh, this is about this is the last topic okay the molarity is the last concept here so this is the fourth one so you just you may come across this is all about the first unit in this syllabus okay so uh, please note down and the answer so uh, you can uh, easily okay uh, in this in this chapter molality is the last concept okay please concentrate on all the con uh, please concentrate on all the concepts or whatever coming across this chapter so that uh, this is a very important chapter and you can score very well in this chapter and it is a very easy chapter also so in that you may come across with the problem so problems are based on the uh, formulas okay so that you can easily solve it thank you